Hey guys, Shelby from Grow With OM here. For this week's Tactical Tuesday, I'm going to be going over a tutorial based on how to set up dynamic tracking for your UTM in Google Tag Manager. This is based off of a tutorial I found from 2017, so this is just kind of an updated version, and you'll be able to access a link to our blog post, which goes over it in more detail in the description box below. Um, so to get started, the reason why you might want to dynamically track something is, I mean, there's a lot of reasons for it. The reason that I chose to do it was because we were running display ads and I was curious to know, A, where our ads were showing up and B, which ones were actually showing or bringing in traffic. So I wanted to set up a dynamic referral source so that I could see, you know, this is a display campaign. It came from this medium, but where did it actually come from? And also just for transparency sake, you know, so my client can make sure that, you know, they're not being shown on less savory websites, even though the companies that we're using say they don't, just to double check, make sure things are okay. Um, so to get started, we're going to go into our variables. And I've already created three of them here. You're going to want to create custom variables for UTM campaign, UTM content, and UTM medium. So you go to the variables tab, you click new, you go ahead and you want to name it. UTM campaign, UTM source, whatever it is that is for that specific thing and you want to do all four. Otherwise, this is not going to work. It's not going to be able to parse the information being sent to it if you have a UTM URL that doesn't have, um, or that does have, sorry, content. If it doesn't see content, it's not going to be able to understand it. So you're going to do variable type URL, component type query, and the query key is going to be the exact same as the title here, which is UTM source. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So I'm going to go ahead and make my UTM. For these purposes, we are using display. So I'm going to go ahead and use growwithom.com. Call that HTTPS. Spell it right. And then the campaign name for our purposes, I'm naming it tactical Tuesday. The medium, this specific tool has a drop down time using banner and display ads. And then source is, this is very important. You want to make sure that this is consistent throughout your entire process here. I'm going to name it dynamic. You can name it whatever you want. Um, dynamic is just what we chose because it's what it is. So you get your link. It's right there. You know, source dynamic, UTM display, campaign, tactical Tuesday. So now that we've determined our UTM, we can go ahead and get back to GTM. We're going to create a new variable. So we're going to go ahead and be in your variable tab, click new. And we're going to name this variable source. This is going to be a lookup table. So you'll go, you'll choose your variable type, scroll down to the utilities section and click lookup table. So essentially what we're doing is we're telling Google that anytime it sees the UTM source variable and anytime that the variable is dynamic to look and see what the referrer is and pass that into GA. So I'm going to go ahead and choose UTM source as our input variable. We're going to add a row. And this input is going to be dynamic. And the output is going to be a built-in variable called referrer. You can get this by clicking on the uh, little Lego brick and finding it in here. Or you can just type in uh, curly bracket, curly bracket refer, and it'll start populating. Um, make sure that you check the set default value box. And you're going to go ahead and choose UTM source here. This essentially tells UTM that if it isn't able to find dynamic, uh, to just pass over whatever the UTM source is. So this is essential if you're running other campaigns that have different sources, such as a Facebook ad or a LinkedIn ad uh, or Google ad, whatever you're running that requires a source um, for your analytics purposes. So we're going to go ahead and save that. So now that we've saved our variable, we're going to go ahead and go over to the tags, and we're going to access our Google Analytics tag. If you don't have Google Analytics set up for your GTM, this isn't going to work, and you're going to have to Either talk to your dev or if you're tech savvy, tech savvy yourself, remove it from your website and create your settings by, via variable and then set up your Google Analytics Universal tag on all page views. So we have our Google Analytics settings here. And this is where the tutorial I was using um, kind of fell off. It was from 2017 and there's been a few changes to GTM, uh, which is why I made the decision to write a blog about it, just update that tutorial, and also do a quick little video run through. So to get to more settings, uh, which is the main bread and butter here. You're going to click on Enable Overriding Settings in this tag, and then from there, you can get to more settings. You should be able to just pull your tracking ID from your Google Analytics setting just automatically, but just in case, um, if you're having some trouble, try using this. That might be a little bit of a troubleshoot. Um, and go ahead and click on Fields to Set. 
we're going to add four fields here. And they're going to be campaign source, campaign medium, campaign name, and campaign content. These are auto-populating for me because I've already used them. But um, if you just start typing in campaign, they're built in variables, so they'll start to populate. So in the value here, uh, these three will all be the uh, parameter values that we, or parameter variables that we created. Um, but campaign source is a little bit different. It's going to be the lookup table. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and find that here, source. And then we're going to just pick UTM medium, uh, UTM campaign for campaign name, and then UTM content. And then we're going to save that. And that should be it. Once you're done with that, um, I highly recommend that you go into preview, make sure it works, check your um, tags to make sure it populated, and even go through, uh, open up your page view tag and check to see um, you know, if it's populating as dynamic or if it's populating as your actual uh, domain, make sure that you're testing it with a link that's on another domain. Um, you can, you know, quickly set up a separate domain if you don't have one already via uh, Wix or Squarespace or one of the free services that are out there. Um, and it should populate in your source on GA if you want to look at your real time. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. We'd be more than happy to try to help you out if this tutorial isn't working for you. It might be something with your settings or, um, you know, maybe there was just an issue. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all have a great day. Bye.